Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna get more hands-on with AWS pen testing, and we're gonna work through a lab from Cyber. Now, if you've never heard of Cyber, it's an incredible platform for a very small subscription of $10 a month. You get access to all of the courses, all of the labs, but even without that, a lot of the labs are completely free for you to check out. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Before we dive into the lab, real quickly, Cyber is C-Y-B-R.com and this is the cyber platform right here. Build AWS Cloud Security Skills. They have a bunch of hands-on labs and they have some incredible courses. I'm not gonna go through all of that now. I actually have a whole nother video on my YouTube channel where I do a full introduction to cyber, so I would refer you to that. But there is this lab called Introduction to Secrets Manager Enumeration, and I thought this would be a fun lab to do, but we're gonna do it in an alternative way because cyber has already made an incredible lab walkthrough on this lab going through everything down here, walking through what is going on. So I'm gonna show you how to do this lab using Paku, and we'll get to that. But before we get to that, let's just understand what is going on. This is also a free lab. So even if you don't have any type of sub to cyber, you can do this right now. So if you're watching me on YouTube after the fact, go ahead and pause this video, make an account on cyber, and then unpause the video and join me, and we can work through and stumble through this lab together. But this free lab provides us with an environment to practice enumerating Amazon Secrets Manager service if you'd like to get familiar with the process and warm up before diving into the CTF labs. If you're already familiar, fairly familiar, feel free to poke around on your own or even skip this lab entirely. We're gonna poke around a little bit on our own. If not, then below is a sequence of commands that we recommend you go through to learn and familiarize yourself with it. I'll show you my way of doing it, but let's just look at this. So what is Secrets Manager? Well, as it sounds like, it's an AWS service that lets you encrypt and store secrets that you can then use for all kinds of purposes, including for your applications, APIs, Lambda functions. You can use it to store login creds, API keys, or really any secret value you need to use, but don't want to hard code since you're trying to follow security best practices. In other words, if this is compromised, it's going to be a bad deal for you. It encrypts data as you store it using KMS and decrypts it when you retrieve it. It also supports automatically and periodically rotating your secrets without breaking your apps and enables you to control exactly who or what can access your secrets. Give the link on this chat. Yeah, absolutely. I'll drop the link real quick. There we go. That should be the link to this lab if you want to follow along. But the first thing we need to do is authenticate. So let's just go over to here and we will do, actually we'll jump out of this. I don't think we'll even need to create a folder for this lab. So we'll just do AWS configure profile. Should we just call it secrets? Drop in our access key ID, grab our secret. I'm gonna guess it's US East one. I don't know for sure, but we will find out. Now, what I wanna do to accomplish this lab, you can follow these steps or this video that shows you the manual way of doing all of this. I'm gonna see if I can speed run this using Paku. And I don't even have Paku installed on this VM. So I'll show you the full process for installing Paku. If we just go to Paku GitHub and also drop this link over in the chat for those of you who wanna follow along. Paku is a tool created by the greatest uh, pen testing firm on the earth, which is where I work, but it's an open source AWS exploitation framework designed for offensive security testing against cloud environments. Created and maintained by Rhino Security Labs, Paku allows pen testers to exploit configuration flaws within an AWS account using modules to easily expand its functionality. Current modules enable a range of attacks, including user privilege escalation, backdooring of IAM users, attacking vulnerable Lambda functions, and much more. So we can go ahead and grab the code here. I think, can I do, uh, pip x git plus like that. I might have my syntax wrong. Let me look real quick. How to use pip x to install this. I think it's pip x git install. That's what I was missing, install. Now the reason I'm using pip x is I like to keep all this stuff in their own uh, Python virtual environment so I don't break other dependencies. And we should be able to do this for Paku, I believe, to get the newest version of Paku. And it appears to be working, which is good news. It is slowly installing. In the meantime, I can show you a little bit about Paku. Let's jump over to Paku here. We have some documentation. We have the Rhino Discord. You can ask questions there. 
But there's a few different ways you can install it. You can just do pip3 install. But once again, the reason I generally don't do that for really any tools is I've had enough experience when I install tools with pip, it breaks other tools I've installed with pip. So I use pipx, which spins all the tools up in their own Python virtual environment. You can run it with Docker as well. Some information to get started. But honestly, I'm going to showcase a lot of this as we work our way through it. So here it is here. If we do Paku version, we see that it works. No database found. We created a database. So now I am just going to run Paku. We'll call this session um, Secrets. And now what we need to do is import our keys. So remember, we created a profile called Secrets. So we can do that import keys. Was it secret or secrets? Let's do um, AWS SDS, get caller identity secrets. And it was secrets, beautiful. So we'll do import keys secrets. Now we don't know what privileges we have in the environment. So we wouldn't know, like, can I hit secret manager? One good way we can check that there's a few different Paku modules for that purpose. And I'll see if either of them work. We can go ahead and search I am. And when we search for I am, we have a few different things here. So we can brute force our permissions and we can enume permissions. Now enume permissions only works if we have enough permissions in the account to run that. But we'll go ahead and give that a shot. We'll do a run I am enume permissions like so and hit enter. And we have 11 unconfirmed permissions for our Julie user. We can type who am I to get a list of our permissions. And let's see what we have. We are given our access key ID, our secret access key, and we can do a few different things. So we can list user policies. You can see that in any resource with the wildcard. We can get user policies. We can list user policies. We can get users. We can get policy. We can list policy versions. And we have a policy here for AWS Secrets Manager, which says we can get anything in the passwords, anything in API keys. We have different version IDs that we can do. We can describe secrets. We can get secret value. We can list secrets. So we have a lot of power. But now this only works if we have permission to list policies like we do here. Sometimes you don't have those permissions. So for example, we can also do search I am and we have this brute force permission module we can also run. So if we run I run I am brute force permissions, I'm just going to specify region US East one to speed it up. I probably won't even do this full thing. But what this is going to do is try all the different AWS API calls to see hey, what permissions do we have in the environment? So you can see right now, we are saying we can list policies, we can get user, get session token, get caller identity, list secrets and secrets manager. So if our account did not have permission on its own to get that information, we can literally brute force our permissions in the AWS account to figure out what access we have. Now to be clear, if you are doing this in like a red team engagement, you are likely to get caught because this is noisy. It kind of looks like a directory brute force attack on a web server where it's just spamming endpoints over and over again. That's sort of what this looks like in AWS. It sees our users spamming all these API calls to figure out what permission we have. And any good blue team or SOC is going to catch this right away and see, oh, someone is enumerating our environment. But I'm going to go ahead and stop that. We have our who am I? So we already know what permissions we have. And because because we are able to list secrets, well, that's a pretty good hint. Maybe we should see what secrets are in Secret Manager. And of course, Paku has a module for that. If we search secret, we have secrets in Noom right here. Enumerates and dumps secrets from AWS Secret Manager in AWS Parameter Store. Now, if we wanted more information on this, we can do like help secrets enum, and it gives more information. So it takes different options. We can do a region. We can say secrets manager, or we can do parameter store. I think by default, it will just do all of them. We'll just give it a shot and see what happens. Run secrets enum like so. And I guess we can specify regions, U, regions US East one, just so we don't waste our time hitting the other regions. And let's see if that works, fingers crossed. And there we go. So we started it. it it denied our parameters, but we were able to list secrets. And it says two secrets are found in AWS Secret Manager. Zero parameters are found. Check that in order to get the value. So let's go ahead and check that out. If we go over to our other terminal, we'll CD to home, Tyler, local, and then share, I believe, Paku, secrets, downloads, Secrets again, C 
secrets manager cat secrets dot text and there we go in just a few minutes we were able to automate that lab automate the enumeration both using the enum uh, resource but also showing how to brute force it and then use paku to grab down these secrets very quickly and see them we have our password right here cyber labs are fun 2211 and we have our secret api key now to show you how much paku speeds it up if we jump whoops I do not want to close down my virtual machine. If we jump back over to the lab itself, we'll do a quick walkthrough of this. I'm not going to do each one of these steps, but I'll show you everything that Paku just automated for us. We, of course, did our authentication as normal. And then the I am enumeration here. First, they're trying to get color identity to get our information. They're specifying the profile to get more information. They're listing user policies. Then they're trying to get the user policy on the allowed secret manager to see what information the policy allows. We go through, we go through. So when we enumerate, we did one command in Paku, right? Run I am enum permissions that automated all of that. We can see what resources is able to allow. We have our secret manager enumeration based on everything that we're able to do. And here we are, we're gonna list our secrets with the AWS CLI. This is gonna give our secret list right there, but even with that, we have to get the secrets themselves. So we see the secrets exist. Then we have to list the secret version IDs to see the different IDs of the secret. Then we have to do it to the second secret as well to get the different versions. Then we have to get the resource policy. Then we have to repeat it for the other secret. Then we have to describe secret in order to see what information is in the secret. Then finally, we can do get secret value and get the secret. So as you can see, using a tool like Paku makes the AWS CLI a lot less confusing. You don't have to remember all the crazy syntax. You can literally just be like, okay, I'm in Paku and I wanna do something with secrets. Search secrets, I ran one command to automate it, all of it. Or I wanna do something with I am. I wanna see what permissions I have. Well, you can see all of it right there, just automating the process for you to see you show you really the beauty of Paku. Yeah, Deluxe said manual walkthrough looks good to understand what Paku does under the hood. Absolutely. You should be able to know how to do it manually. I could do it manually, but it would take a lot of back and forth with me and ChatGPT, whereas Paku just makes it amazingly easy in order to do it. Oh, and then also we have to decode it, right? So once you get the secret, it the secret it will encode... <sighs> Oh, the, the jumble of text. The API key is encoded. I didn't even catch that. Let's jump over to that. Here's our API key. It's base64 encoded, I believe. We can just copy that. And in our terminal, we can echo it out. Jeez, I am just clicking all kinds of keys. Pipe it over to base64, dash D to decode. And there we go. Our Cyber Labs fake API key 1122. And that is the API key decoded. So we have successfully enumerated information and extracted secrets stored in the accounts secrets manager service. Feel free to keep playing around with this lab environment if you like. And once you're ready, go ahead and complete this lesson and check out the next lesson, which gives the above commands in a reference able format. So we'll go ahead and complete this. And we have this um, cheat list or cheat sheet showing everything that we did, but I'll let you do that on your own as you work your way through this. Hopefully, you enjoyed this, you learned something about AWS, AWS Secrets Manager, authenticating, installing Paku. We did a lot of stuff in the little bit of time that we had together. So if you want more, I encourage you to check out Cyber yourself. Otherwise, I will have a bunch of other videos coming out in the near future as I work through various labs on the Cyber platform. So thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one.